O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. In the sight of his nations, he has shown his deliverance. Alleluia. Once again, I thank you for joining us as we come together to celebrate this Mass online and wherever you are this morning. You are very welcome as we come together and pray uh, through our faith. And as we do so, we think, too, of those people who are still suffering and the people who have contracted the virus since we last celebrated together. To so keep your, them in your prayers, and particularly the families of those who have lost loved ones, the families of those who have their near relatives in the intensive care and cannot visit them. And all of that sadness that, to bring it before God in faith this morning as we begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And as we gather in faith this morning to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we take a few moments to place ourselves more consciously in the presence of God, reflecting in our lives asking the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the in highest, highest, and, and on, on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of, of good goodwill. will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your, for your great, great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of Son the of Father, Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. For you alone Lord, are the, the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most are the High, High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the, the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, you constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, Select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. 
they presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy be on us as, as we place our, our trust in, in you. you. Exalt, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy be on us as we place our, our trust in you. you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all of his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy be on us, us as we, we place our, our trust, trust in you. you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and to preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, Lord let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And, like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith. But for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may renounce, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, 
I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. And Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you know him and have seen him. And Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. And how can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak, I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me, will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. And thank you again for joining us for this Mass this morning, even though I cannot see any of you. We are so separated, and but I am delighted that we can be united in faith and in prayer as we offer this Holy Mass. And let me, as I begin, to not forget, today is Mother's Day, and wish all our mothers who are with us today a very, very happy Mother's Day. Let me just try to look at the situation we're in around the world at this moment, very briefly. Most of the human family in our world today is experiencing the negative effects of the COVID-19 virus, from Alaska to Australia, from China to Chile, all the way across to Africa. People are seriously sick, some are dying, others depressed, and more are fearful of contracting that dreadful disease. Some are left much poorer, others are left with less to eat. Not in living memory have we witnessed anything like what we are living through at the moment. These are very difficult times for all, especially for families who have lost members of their own family because of the virus, others who have brothers and sisters on life support and who cannot visit them to comfort them. While COVID-19 has thrown our lives into turmoil and confusion, it has also affected our spiritual life, and our church life. Masses are suspended. Parish meetings are cancelled. Youth meetings, retreats, camps, all cancelled. Social distancing, while necessary, disrupts our routines, dreadfully. Disrupted also as travel and business and commerce across the globe. So, whatever way we look at it, the pandemic has caused tremendous disruption across the globe. People's lives are upset, 
and people are displaced socially and spiritually. So my question then is, what does the Word of God say to us in the midst of all of these circumstances right now? And let me look at the Gospel and the second reading for an answer. In that Gospel, Jesus says to us, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. And later on, he says in that same passage, I am the way and the truth and the life. And then listen to St. Peter in the second reading. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. What reassuring word, what a powerful message that we get in that inspired word today. Let's look at Peter's words again. Peter here is drawing from a scene in the prophet Isaiah around chapter 43. And there, in that chapter, Peter gives, a, gives us a glimpse of, or we get a glimpse of the relationship of the people of Israel with God. And really, very honestly, they weren't all that faithful. And they weren't that loyal to God. And yet God chose them. God forgave them. God redeemed them. And then Peter takes from Isaiah the titles of the people of Israel. And he applies them to the new people of Israel, the Christian church. And he does so to indicate how unique and awesome our dignity is as members of the church. So these four titles that Peter borrows and takes from Isaiah are really our Christian vocation. And concisely, it's really our job description. The first title that Peter has is, he says, you are a chosen people, a chosen race. It's the title that God gave to Israel in that 30, 43rd chapter of Isaiah, who said, my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself. And the significant word there is chosen. As with Israel, so with us. The church Jesus Christ founded is not a community by chance. Not at all. We are God's chosen people, elected by God to be his very own. And then the second title, Peter says to his audience that day, you are a royal priesthood. This is a biblical declaration of a Catholic truth that's all too easily forgotten. All of us are priests. And you might ask, well, why do you say that? for three very brief reasons. First, because we are on mission, resulting from our baptism. And the mission is to reconcile the world to God in Christ. And secondly, because all of us, as members of the body of Christ, through baptism, we all offer 
the church's central act of worship, the sacrifice of the Mass. And thirdly, because in that sacrifice, we not only offer Jesus, but we offer ourselves as well to our Heavenly Father. We are a royal priesthood. The third title, a holy nation, that really is you and I, all of us. Holy means consecrated. Consecrated to the Lord. As surely as the baby Jesus was consecrated to the Lord in the temple at Jerusalem, we too are consecrated to the Lord at our baptism. Oh yes, we're expected to live in a holy manner. Because God has called us to himself, sure. God has set us apart as his own. And so we ought to be able to reflect that godliness in us. But at the same time, we know we are sinful people. But we are still a holy people. Because even in our sinfulness, we are still consecrated to the Lord a holy nation. The fourth title is God's own people. That's what we strongly believe, that our baptism makes us sons and daughters of the Father, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ in his body, the church. Can you think of a greater compliment? Can you imagine a higher calling to a more remarkable way of life than what Peter has just put before us today. A people chosen by God, purchased for God's very own by the blood of his Son and consecrated to God, made a holy people. That's an awesome calling. And it is your and mine. We are all called to that. This is how highly God thinks of you. God's own daughter. God's own son. That's the absolute Catholic truth. That is our hope. And therein lies our strength to face anything, any obstacle, any challenge that this world will put it before us, even the COVID-19 virus. This is a wonderful state that we are called to in the Christian church, in our Catholic faith. A life given us by God. We are chosen. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. We are God's very own people. But that awesome state is not given us to be hoarded by us. No, that life is given us so that it can be given. Given away. And how do we do that? As St. Peter told us in that reading today. Listen again to him. By announcing the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. We are called to be witnesses, to live our faith in such a way that others will see it in us and in such a way that they will be attracted to the Christian way of life. That's our dignity. That's our mission. And therein lies the strength that we can get 
in fulfilling the mission. So what is this Lord is saying to us in all of this? Do not let your hearts be troubled. No matter what comes away, God is in control. And Jesus has said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As people called by God, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own, let us then present our needs to him with confidence. Our response is, Gracious God, hear us. For the Church, that we may live as God's chosen people and follow Christ who is our way, our truth, and our life, we pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For the gift of peace in our world, especially in those places experiencing war, terrorism, or natural disaster, we pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For mothers, grandmothers, aunts, and all who have been like mothers to us, both those who are living and those who have gone to eternal glory, we pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For those whose employment has ceased because of this COVID-19 pandemic, we remember today those who work in the arts, musicians, singers, actors, technicians, and other assistants, along with day laborers and people unable to access government support, that they may soon receive the assistance which they need. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For all deacons, that they may faithfully follow Christ as they unselfishly serve those who are in need, in mind, body, or spirit, we pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For all those who are sick, especially those with COVID-19, that God will restore them to health, and guide researchers in finding effective treatments and developing a vaccine. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. For all who have died, especially those who have died as a result of this pandemic. 
that God will welcome them into the peace and joy of God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear us. Lord Jesus Christ, our way, our truth, and our life, sacrificed and risen, enfold our world in your tender embrace and give us the grace to be tender to one another. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have also received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, yet more to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb one slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and let us offer each other the sign of peace. this mingling the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And we come to that part of the Mass where we have a few quiet moments to prepare ourselves to receive Christ in communion. And for those of you who cannot receive sacramentally this morning, we would ask you to open your hearts to receive Jesus Christ spiritually. Welcome him into your heart and let his heart enliven you and his presence give you the strength to be, to reflect and to proclaim the wonders of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Communion Antiphon I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ the Lord. And just a couple of announcements before uh, our final blessing. Thank you again for joining us for this Mass this morning. And uh, we cannot be under one roof quite yet, but we are united around the table of the Lord through the gift of faith. And we thank the Lord for that, and we are very tremendously grateful for you to, to join us in this way, and grateful too for those who make it possible for marketing services here in our own parish and for Mick and... Joshua, Stelton, Paul, and E.G. And their help with the cameras and making this production an awful lot better than, and making even the pastor look a little bit better than he normally does. Thank you, all of you, very much indeed. And we would ask you to join us for Noonday Prayer, Monday through Friday, um, on Facebook, and then on Tuesday, or Wednesday, Wednesday, on Wednesday, 
at 7 p.m. in the parking lot uh, at Southeast uh, Health. We will be there with our lights on and thanks to all in the medical profession, doctors and nurses and all who work in the hospital. Uh, we ask you to come park in any of the parking lots, leave your lights on, stay in your cars, and uh, at the end of the music that will be played over the radio to you, uh, we would ask you then to stop and we will have a prayer together. And the words of that should be reflected on your screen as well, on your phone. So join us if you can. That's Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Southeast Health. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another.